Hey everyone, welcome to Casting Call with Johnny and Preg. This is our premiere episode of a video blog series where we hope to answer all your compelling questions of everything impregnation. We're going to start with the question I, I think I hear most often from folks is, when should I impregnate a casting? Now, spoiler alert, I'm going to give you the answer now in case you're short on time, but you want to do the impregnation after machining and prior to any kind of finishing like plating or painting. Now here's why. Let's consider the three different types of porosity you see in a raw casting. Uh, blind porosity, through porosity, wall to wall, and fully enclosed. If you impregnate a casting in this condition, you'll get uh, sealant in the blind, you'll get it here, but you won't get any sealant in this area. And that becomes important when you do the machining because when you machined from here to here, you're going to have a leak path. Now, if you do the impregnation after machining, you'll still fill this, and now you'll fill this leak path as well. Uh, the reason you want to do it prior to finishing is you want to fill up all the porosity before you do the plating or painting, otherwise you could end up with outgassing or other blemishes that really don't look so nice. Now let's look at a real world example on a uh, cylinder block. Now in this region here, we had a case where there was blind porosity going from here into the casting that didn't cause a problem until this machining cut was made. We have some other areas where we had enclosed porosity that was connected through two different machining passes. So th this is a real world example of why you should do impregnation after machining. So I hope this little tutorial helped you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave comments below and hit me up on WhatsApp or LinkedIn. Bye for now.